G'day, I'm Rob Malicki. Welcome to A Life That Travels, and in today's episode, we're at Curtin University in Perth, and I've got to say, this place is amazing. Check it out. Bean bags on the lawns, and where we're coming down right to right now, a hammock hotel. What kind of university is this? Let's go and check it out. <laughs> Curtin Uni was founded in 1966 and it's actually the largest of the universities over here in WA. Um, and the thing that I'm loving about it is like all of these awesome little spaces that you find here. You know, tons of beautifully designed buildings and lots of uh, interesting unique spaces in order to, that, you, that you can hang out in. University offers a wide range of disciplines from business and law through to many of the health sciences are taught here and of course science and engineering is massive at Curtin. It's one of the top ranking institutions in Australia for some of its engineering disciplines, not to mention its arts and humanities programs which are taught here as well. So tons of choice for students, something like 48,000 undergrads um, at uh, time of filming plus about 10,000 postgrads. So it's a very large diverse campus and the campus here at Bentley, the main campus, is spectacular. Curtin has got a very active international exchange program as well. It does have campuses elsewhere in the world where um, you can go and study on like a cross-campus exchange amongst other things, plenty of clubs and societies. So let's go and talk to some students and see what they have to say about studying here. What, what do you like about studying at Curtin? Uh, it doesn't really feel too much like a school, kind of, kind uh -huh. of like. A fun campus to be around. Look at that. Show me the look at that. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Personally, I guess it's just the fact that you can choose whichever the units you want. Like even though I'm doing um, creative writing and screen arts, nice. there's a lot of units you can choose. You don't have to follow a very set schedule. Nice. Like, and if you really want, you can go like more experimental style or if you want to stick to the more production based. Yeah. It's actually quite a bit you can do just under one uh, degree. Awesome. Cool. What about you, Sarah? Uh, firstly, the huge variety. So yep. they let you pretty much study anything you want. I'm actually doing accounting and screen arts. That's super so, cool. Yeah, then they, you can do that as a double major. They really don't care what combination you want to do. What's the atmosphere like here at Curtin? Pretty relaxed. Like, yeah? You can go around. Yeah, I'll, everyone's pretty relaxed and chill. Yeah. Just go around. If you want lunch, you can get lunch wherever you want, really. There's no one. I can't think of kind of like a little village I guess it's quite yeah. totally relaxing and it's super diverse there's people from every walk of life here yeah, yeah. there's lots of student support there's um, it's because of the diversity everybody's very accepting and that's what I find best about it. that's what's standing out yeah I've been coming to Curtin University for many years now and this place has just changed so much you can see there in the background food trucks galore all of these uh, you know, bean bags out on the lawns, kind of like beautiful end of winter's day here in Perth. And it's really clear that the university has invested a lot in trying to um, ramp up the student culture here because it certainly was nothing like this in the past. Um, awesome little campus, lots of parkland, um, totally accessible from many places in Perth, so it's got lots of upsides. The transport's pretty good to get here? Yeah, that's about There's quite a lot of buses around. Awesome. Well, as far as I know, this is the only snookball field at any university in Australia, certainly the only one that I've seen. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, let me know if your uni has got snook ball. This place just gets better and better. Well, I'm absolutely loving this library space. It's like this awesome blend of uh, sort of social, chilled, you know, um, collaborative learning space and uh, some pretty epic um, quiet study space upstairs, like really good computing facilities, printing, everything. This is actually a top-notch facility. Respect. They've done a great job here. Curtin actually ranks incredibly well. So in Australian terms, it's generally ranked just outside the top 10, so around 13th or 14th, depending on the ranking and depending on the year. Worldwide, it's ranked 250th, so that actually puts it in the top 1% of universities in the entire world, which is actually phenomenal if you think about it. And then if you look at 
um, the age of curtain. Curtain's not that old, 1966 is not that long ago in global terms. Um, curtain ranks even better, it's actually ranked 20th in the world and 4th in Australia um, for the top universities under the age of 50. So it's a place that even if rankings are important to you, um, it's right up there in terms of uh, its competitiveness with other institutions. It's a chilled way of camping. Do, um, is, is there a lot going on? Like, are there a lot of activities, extracurricular stuff? A lot, a lot of them going on. Curtin actually has 16 subjects which are in the top 200 uh, ranked subject areas in the world, which is pretty impressive if you think about it. And it has the number two mining school, effectively, in the entire world. So research is a really important part of this institution's makeup. It's been an increasing focus for lots of Australian universities over the last decade. No different here at Curtin. But the thing that I really like about um, Curtin is that even though it's been putting this massive focus on improving its um, rankings, improving its research output, it clearly hasn't lost the student focus. I'm here just outside the TAV, um, which is like the uni bar, and um, it's got a great vibe. I love it. If you look at the outcomes for Curtin on the quality indicators of learning and teaching, which is the Australian government's official uh, site where they analyse the performance of universities and the satisfaction of students. That's you, the people who study here. Curtin actually comes out pretty well, um, certainly around about the average or a little bit better in most areas, but definitely check out that site if that sort of data is important to you. The caveat is always, you know, like, be really specific when you're looking at a university and what you want to study there because even a university that maybe hasn't got the most incredible rankings in the area that you want to study might have some incredible teachers, professors um, who are just amazing and world class at what they do. So always dig a little bit deeper if you do have that area of passion that you're particularly keen on. And you know what, if you don't have a particular area of passion, that's no big deal. One of the awesome things about uni is the ability to be able to go out and to try different things, meet people, go and study overseas and discover a little bit of uh, what the world has to offer. That's the beauty of these kinds of places. Well, I've had a pretty epic little day here at Curtin University. It surprised and delighted me in so many different ways. But before I go, I'm just going to try this. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, you know Curtin on QS's um, stars rating system ranks five stars and I reckon between the beautiful open spaces the uh, the cool little food cart eateries the murals on the walls and the awesome stories from the different students that are studying here I reckon on Rob's a life that travels university rating I'd give it five stars as well what an awesome place to come and study anyway that's it from me I'll see you next time on a life that travels and I hope whatever you're getting up to today is as good as this. See you next time. Oh. <laughs>